whine in a terrified and squeaky voice. W what have you done to me? Dropping a shoulder, Angie rolls her eyes and lets out a sigh. Just because you're blonde now doesn't mean you have to act stupid. I just told you, you're a girl now. Still wearing the same stuff as I was moments ago, I can see it now hanging off from my shorter and more petite body. It's like I'm ten years old and playing dress up in my dad's clothing. As I feel my body with fumbling hands, she's not wrong. Narrow waist, wide hips, plump behind, and of course, the missing family jewels. I'm not really sure how to describe the emotions swirling around in my head right now. I've just spent the last hour allowing my girlfriend to, well, feminize me in every sense of the word. An hour ago, I was oblivious to the fact my girlfriend is a witch. Now it's all I can think about. Well, that, and the fact I'm wearing a dress that she's graciously let me borrow, and how well it fits me. If I wasn't so focused on getting Zack back for his prank, I think I'd be freaking out right now. Just step into those heels, Ben. Angie says like it's completely normal for me. Holding my long blonde hair back, I look down at the sparkly heels she's placed out in front of me. Are... are these necessary? I ask, hoping they aren't. Zack's room is just down the hall. Our plan doesn't involve us going outside. My comments go down like a lead balloon. Angie gives me a very unimpressed look. What? I ask, giving her a funny look. You want to get him back, right? Angie asks, putting a single hand on her hip. Yeah. It's gotta look believable, she grumbles, pointing at the dress she's made me wear. You know the plan, and we've gotta make it seem as plausible as possible. I point at my chest. Angie. Really? I say sarcastically. I'm literally a girl. How is that going to know it's me? Ben, please. Angie groans, sagging her shoulders. Can you just get into character already? You already know how I feel about turning you into a girl. So please stop being such a spoil sport and have fun. Into character? Yeah, like you're actually a girl. But I'm not a girl. Angie rolls her eyes and then gives me the widest and cheekiest grin. That's not actually true, Benny boy. What's between your legs right now? Trying not to think about it. I let out the longest sigh. Then, after a moment, I smile back at her pretty face. <sighs> so who am I then? Angie gives me that expression that she gives me when she thinks I'm not listening. I know I'm about to get an earful. You weren't listening, were you? She whines, folding her arms tight. I told you I turned you into Harper, the girl I thought you were cheating with, remember? Quickly glancing down at my own cleavage, I look back up at Angie and shake my head. How could I forget that? I reply. You've got me in a push-up bra. I feel like these things are right under my chin. <laughs> it's so true. Angie giggles. Do you feel cute? When you're a dude that's been transformed into a girl against your will, what are you supposed to say to that question? I suppose so, I answer, looking at the girl who stares back at me in the mirror. I try to pose femininely and waft my long hair like they do in the shampoo commercials. It just comes across as awkward, and Angie laughs. <laughs> that needs a little work, she giggles, showing me how it's done. Be loose and not so uptight. I do my best to copy, but still feel like I'm playing dress up. Uh, don't worry, Angie says, grabbing hold of my hips. Once you're talking to him, and he starts reacting to you as boys do... You'll soon start feeling more confident and pretty. Gawking at myself, I wonder what she means. So, I say, changing the subject. The plan? Yes, Angie nods. I pretend that I'm new in the dorm and lost. Yes, a real damsel in distress. You gotta make sure you play that part up. Then, once he trusts me, you'll swoop in and get all magical on his ass. Angie begins to nod feverishly with a big smile. Yes, then I transform him into a girl too, and therefore, he learns his lesson. Angie reaches back to her room door and opens it for me. Slide on your heels, Harper. She cheers like she's ushering me onto stage. 
Let's go get our payback and teach that jerk what it's like to mess with us. Motivated, I hold out my hands to hold hers. Taking hold, she helps me slip on the heels and I wobble out the door. As we head down to Zach's dorm room, Angie holds onto my sides and helps me walk in her heels. She giggles every time I make a misstep. Ben, she whispers, just as we approach the last corner before Zach's room. Have you ever flirted with a boy before? Now feeling rather nervous about letting Zach see me in this girl's body, I freeze up at the question. Biting my lip, I shake my head. N no Angie looks up and down the corridor to make sure we are alone. Then, she leans in and whispers in my ear. Laugh at his jokes. Play with your hair as he speaks. Touch him on the arm as much as you can. Angie then pokes at my cleavage and smiles. If all that fails, she says, playfully eyeing up my chest. Let your body do all the talking. If you see him look down for even one second, it's because he's checking your girls out. Thanks for the advice, I reply, trying to push back the nerves. You'll be right behind me, yeah? That's the plan. It's showtime, and I take a confident step forward. Angie gasps as I do, and I look back to make sure she's okay. What? I ask with a frustrated whisper. N nothing She nervously giggles, looking away. No, come on. I reply, getting all hot and bothered, like she's making fun of me. She smirks and steps closer to me. Leaning in, she kisses me on the lips, and I'm a little aback. What was that for? I ask, giving her a stunned look. Before you go and flirt with a boy, she answers, kissing me again. I wanted to remind you that I love you. Angie, I whine, rolling my eyes in disbelief. I love you too. And you know I'm not interested in boys. How do you know? She says, touching my long hair. You've never been a girl before. We don't know how your body is going to react to male attention. I mean, Ben... Zach's a cute boy, and he's going to be interested in the hot girl I turned you into. Believe me. Thanks for that. I sigh. Like I wasn't already nervous enough. Ugh, you'll be fine. I'm only joking. Now go flirt with that boy. You have my permission. Now extremely nervous, I turn back around, and on my first step forward, I almost fall flat on my face. Grabbing the wall to support myself, I look back at Angie and give her a filthy look. She just smiles and ushers me onward. Approaching Zach's door, I hold onto the wall for support and flick hair out of my eyes. Hi, I say with a sickly, sweet voice, knocking twice. C can you help me? The movement on the other side of the door makes my heart flutter. As the door slowly opens, I feel like time itself stops. Zach slowly comes into view, and he's much taller than I remember. I have to look up at him. A little shocked, Zack's face is completely covered with a bright green facial mask. He really isn't the sort of guy I'd associate with a skincare routine. H hi I mutter, surprised by what I'm seeing. Do I know you? Zack asks me suspiciously, looking me up and down. I force a smile. N no I lie. What's wrong, then? He asks, looking me directly in the eyes. He's kind of intimidating, but at the same time, he's not. The face mask really isn't doing anything for the bad boy persona he gives out. Not knowing what to say, I look up at Angie. She's hiding around the corner, but she gives me a thumbs up and a nod. I'm... I look back up at Zack, who's now looking really uncomfortable in my presence. Lost. Lost? He asks, letting out a, letting out a long breath as he ushers me into his room. Fine, but you'll have to wait until my mask is done. I don't want the guys seeing it. I panic. This is not part of the plan. He's supposed to come out of his room and show me around. That's when I distract him and Angie pounces. Hello, Zack says, waving his hand in front of my face. Are you listening? Come in and shut the door. Eyes wide and heart beating like crazy, I step into his room and he closes it behind me. Take a seat on my bed if you like, Zack says politely, moving around me without touching. I know heels like those you've got on can be quite uncomfortable. They are, my dude. I reply to him like normal. My dude, he chuckles, sitting on his desk chair. My friend Ben says that a lot. I perch myself all dainty-like on the side of his bed. I push both hands between my legs to close off any view of my dress. Oh, does he? I reply, trying to be nonchalant. Sounds like a cool guy. I can introduce him to you if you like. Zach says gently with a friendly smile. 
Don't get too excited, though. Like all the good ones, he's taken. Not really listening, I just stare at the closed door, knowing I need to get him outside. So... I say, leaning forward to show off as much cleavage as possible. You wanna show me around and help me find my room? I get a rush of endorphins as I watch Zack's eyes dart down at my breasts and then dart away again. It's totally working. Um, Zack mutters, looking down at my heels rather than at my cheeky grin. Why are you wearing heels in such a skimpy dress on your first night in the dorms? That's a little strange. Aren't you cold? I look down at myself and Angie's stupid tight dress, and I can't help but agree with him. You don't know the half of it, my dude. I reply, again forgetting the situation. I lean to one side and pick at my backside with my fingertips. I've got such a wedgie right now. Women's underwear is rough. Thong? He asks. Yeah. I answer like we're just two guys hanging out. As he smiles at me, I become very aware that the situation is not how we planned it. I have to regain control, because he seems completely uninterested in me. Um, I stand, brushing down my dress. D don't y you think I look pretty? Zack again looks me up and down. Cute, yeah, he answers. Overegging the pudding, I reach across and place my hand on his knee. D thanks, babe, I say fighting the urge to bail. The awkwardness of the situation hits boiling point as we both go bright red. I'm holding his knee for an unholy amount of time. It, it, it's okay, Zack says as he nervously swallows. You're not my type, but yeah, cute. My face drops and his words hit me like a train. Not his type? I'm a busty blonde in a short dress and heels. How am I not his type? Frustrated by his words, I do something seriously wild and stupid. I lift up my skirt and mount him as he sits in that chair. With both of my legs between one of his, I park my round ass on his thigh and lean in. His face scrunches up and my heart beats like wild. The look he gives me is one of sheer terror. Not how I'd expect him to react, considering he calls himself a ladies man. Female me is hot, so what's with that face he's pulling? Uh... Zack mutters anxiously, holding his hands above his head. Miss, what are you doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I've always been on the other side of a girl's advances like this, but this time, I'm the girl. Then, Angie's advice comes to mind. My mouth goes dry as I lean forward and contemplate pushing my chest nearer to his face. Arching my back, I put both hands on his shoulders and lean in closer. With him getting all fidgety as I sit on his thigh, it gives me hope that my female body is winning him over. Then, there's a single knock on his door, and we both look. Not now, I hiss, expecting it to be one of the guys. We're busy. My life flashes before my eyes as the door swings open, and it's Angie standing in the doorway. Still sitting on Zack's thigh with my body leaning in towards him, her face sinks and she becomes obviously angry. Ben! She screams, stepping into the room. What the hell is going on? Me and Zack look at each other in absolute dread. It's like we've bitten at the forbidden fruit and we've been caught red-handed. I said you have permission to flirt, Ben! Angie shouts, pointing at us both. Not to mount him and make out! Stunned, Zack looks me directly in the eyes and then easily pushes me off. I slide off him and fall flat onto his bed. I have to swiftly recover to regain any decency as my dress rides right up. Ben! Zack shrieks, pointing at me on the bed. Is that you? How's it possible? Yeah, it's him, dipshit. Angie grumbles, folding her arms. I'm a witch, and you just made out with my boyfriend. Shocked, Zack looks at me and then Angie several times in pure agony. We didn't make out, I protest, looking at Angie with innocent eyes. Whatever, Angie reacts childishly. Seems you like being a girl, don't you, Ben? Maybe I'll leave you like this, and you two can be happy together. Zack's mouth drops, and he points at me, but looks at Angie. No way that's Ben, he exclaims. It's him, Angie replies with a snarl. I transformed him into the girl you pretended to be on his phone, and now he's making out with you. Typical. We didn't make out, I protest again, instantly getting the look of death from Angie. Zack looks at me, and he gasps. I think he knows it's me in this body, but he just can't get his head around it. I give him an awkward smile and nod to tell him it really is me. Well, Angie says, 
stamping her foot to regain everyone's attention. Ben, if you want to be with face mask here so bad, I'm not stopping you. But don't come crawling back, asking me to switch you back to a guy when you get bored. Angie! I cry out, scared she's being serious. Zach looks at the desperation on my face and looks scared himself. I've never felt so stupid in my life. Wait, Angie, Zach says, composing himself. Ben's telling the truth. We really didn't make out. Angie turns up her nose. Sure, like I'm going to believe a prankster like you. He's telling the truth, I squeal, fearing I'd be stuck as a girl for the rest of my life. Shut up, Harper, Angie growls, putting real bite into the name she's given me. I really am telling the truth, Zach says softly, completely out of character for him. Save it, Angie replies, giving us both attitude as she turns to leave the room. I don't care. Enjoy each other's company. Angie! I cry out. Don't leave me like this. I'm not a girl! Angie's about to swing the door open, but Zach jumps up from his chair and puts a gentle hand on her shoulder. Angie shrugs him off at first, but he holds on for dear life. Zach leans toward her ear and starts to whisper something. I have no idea what he's saying, but I watch as Angie's face once again sinks as she realizes she's made a fool out of herself once again. Seriously? Angie asks, looking deep into Zach's eyes as she turns back around and away from the door. Y yeah Zach answers, nervously rubbing the back of his head. Angie looks at me and I can see the guilt written all across her face. Was she really going to leave me stuck like this? Maybe I need to reconsider my life choices. Sorry, Ben, she utters, lowering her head in shame. I've gone and done it again, haven't I? Put two and two together and got ten. You believe me then? I ask, still kind of shaking with nerves. Zach's explained the situation, Angie answers, stepping closer to me like she's a naughty child. And what I said is between us, Angie, right? Zach asks, interrupting us. Angie turns and gives him a thumbs up. I promise. I won't say anything until you are ready. Guys, I ask, brushing my hair from my eyes as I shuffle up off the bed. What are you guys talking about? No more pranks, Angie demands at Zach, ignoring me. Okay? Sheepishly, Zach looks at me and then nods in agreement. Fine, he answers. If it's going to cause this much issue, I definitely won't be doing it anymore. Good, Angie replies. Bemused, I shake my head and awkwardly stand in my heels. I need to go to bed, I say with a dark tone, rubbing my eyes. This has been exhausting. I'm not surprised, Zach laughs, slapping me on the shoulder and almost knocking me over. I'm impressed how well you pull off being a girl, Ben. Kinda suits you. Shut up, I hiss. We should go, Angie says, grabbing my arm and pulling me away. Scurrying over to her, trying my best not to fall, she drags me out of the room and holds on to my arm. I look back at Zack, who's got the smarmiest of faces. I can't help but feel like he's won the war. What did he say to you? I ask, desperate to know what changed Angie's mind so quickly. That's between me and him, Angie replies, putting a single finger to her lip. Then she gives me a beaming smile. You hungry? Starving, I answer, holding my stomach. Would takeaway be a good start for an apology? She asks timidly, giving me a cute smile. I frown. I suppose that's a start. She squeezes my arm as we continue to walk back to her room. Then, she grins wider, seductively raising her eyebrows. Maybe I can give you a nice, relaxing massage. Really? I reply, flicking hair from my eyes. Do you want to massage the girl me? Not answering, Angie goes a little red and looks in every other direction. Oh, great. So you really do like the female me better, don't you? I sulk. Nah. <laughs> She giggles maniacally, nudging me as we walk. I'm just yanking your chain. I frown again and pout. Why does she find this so funny? I'm going to need more than just an hour with my therapist to explain this. Don't look so worried, Ben. She nudges me again and laughs. It's just a prank, bro. 